Hello guys, John here. Thanks for watching. This is the third video of the series of Trapcode SoundKeys plugin for After Effects. Remember, if this is your first contact to SoundKeys, I recommend you to go back and watch the first and the second videos of this series so you know what we are doing because they are all related. In this video, we will control the blur effect intensity that we're going to add to a layer through SoundKeys. Okay, on top of what we did in the two previous videos, which is controlling the opacity and controlling the scale of the text. Okay, so let's take a look at it. We select the text layer and we're going to apply the blur effect. A fast blur effect. Alt click on the stopwatch for the blurriness intensity. Okay, so we open it expression option which we're going to be linking to the third range from sound key, which is not activated. So we activated it. Okay. And we select it on the composition window. Okay. We select this area. It's fine. Okay. We're going to put the fall off to exponential and the fall off time to one second in order to make it smoother. We click on apply. Okay, so now we link the expression to the output tree. Okay. Okay, but let's change it to costume to make it very exaggerated. So We're going to readjust the range, we make it lower. We click apply and now it's very, the blur is very intense. Let's turn off the visibility of some key layer. So notice how the text now has a blur applied to it. It's completely random based on the beats of the music. All right, so on top of that, now let's see what we can do. We're going to add a new effect. We're going to actually change the color of the text. So we are going to add color correction here and saturation. But first, let's select an area where we can see the color. Okay, a point over there is like I turn off the visibility of the blur first. Okay, so here and saturation. Colorize and I'm going to increase the saturation and also the colorized lightness and make it lower to have the color more intense. Okay, over there. And now that we have selected the color, we are going to control the color, which is the colorized hue attribute, which is the one that makes it change color. We're going to control that through the bits of sound keys. So remember Alt click on the stopwatch, it opens the expression option. We're going to use the twister and we're going to select range output one, maybe. Yeah. Okay. Number one. Okay. Now it's linked. Now we play it. Oh yeah. And it's changing colors. Okay. But maybe we want more colors than those ones. So what we have to do is change the range. We're going to select the output two that has more values added to it. And now that we play it, we have more colors going on. Let's turn on the blur too. So it looks more like a disco now. So yeah, you saw like how we're controlling so many different attributes and effects just with some keys. This is all about experimentation and trying different things and being creative. So I hope you were able to learn something and you found it interesting. So in the next video, we are actually going to be controlling the position of the text through sound keys. So that's all. Thanks for watching.